How'd yesterday go? It was good. What'd you get to work on? <laughs> um, spacing, transition offense, um, conditioning, uh, a few different things. So uh, it was a good day for us yesterday. How do you feel like this team is in shape compared to previous years? Um, I don't know. You know, continue to keep getting in better shape. I know that. You know, just continue to keep working. Uh, continue to keep hammering home our, you know, defensive foundation, our offensive foundation, or exactly what we need from each guy every single day. And so yesterday was a good start for us. You got to kind of balance how you grew up camp, drilling down on certain things and not going 100% day one. Say it, you kind of have to balance not going 100% on day one, taking it throughout camp and instilling what you want. Oh uh, yeah, I think we gotta do it. Uh, go a lot slower. I think just as far as the teaching aspect, you know, we do have a lot of new guys. KJ's new. You know, Bones is fairly new. Russ, Mace. And so just slowing it down so those guys can understand what we're trying to do on both sides of the basketball and actually have time to really teach it. Coach, you guys are here in 2019, 2020 before COVID had happened. Um, how did Hawaii factor into you guys having a good season that year? And what do you take from that season? And Put into this I think just having a camp anytime you can get away, you know, and it's just you and your family, if you bring family in, but it's just a team. And so you can kind of just get together, do a lot of different things together, kind of get to learn and make your teammates better. And so it's been great. Like I said, coming to Hawaii, the hospitality has been great. Um, they treat us really well at the hotel. And so it's been just a really fun experience for us. And like, we're happy to come back any chance we get. What's it like having some of these, uh, you know, some of the players that you might have played against or close against just to be able to help the team this year, you know, with Jones and Larry Drew? And yeah, it's been great. You know, I think um, being with D. Jones since he first came into the league and knowing him um, through Al Harrington. So um, he's always been a really good friend of mine. And so I'm having LD who taught me the pick and roll game from day one when I first got to the Lakers. He's my assistant coach, and so I was with him on like, four different stops as a player. And so just having him around um, for the last 25 years has been really good for me. So having B. Shaw, who I played with with the Lakers and won a couple of championships with. So when you have guys that are around you, that are familiar with you, and you know, they can tell you the truth. So it's not like, a, you know, I don't want a, a coaching staff with a, a bunch of yes men. Like, if I'm messing up, like, to tell me the truth and things I can do better, then I definitely want to hear that. Anyone stand out yesterday on the first day? Um, Lawrence Frank. How did Lawrence Frank stand out? He put the team together. He put the team together? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What have you seen out of the rookies so far? Um, they've been good. You know, the biggest thing about rookies is that you, know, you want to be able to have rookies that work hard, uh, pick up what you're trying to put in. But the biggest thing is being seen and not heard. They do a great job of just doing their job, not, you know, talking too much, not being loud, and understanding and trying to absorb everything we're trying to teach them. So, um, they're great, they're great guys. With Kobe specifically, what have you seen from him since summer league to now? Like, has anything changed with him in terms of growth? Well, we really didn't play yesterday. You know, we didn't have a chance to really play 5-on-5. Five five. We just did more drills, more conditioning. And so we really haven't seen them in a, in a, you know, having a chance to play 5-on-5 five five yet. So today we get a better look at them. But, and some of them got really impressed. I thought he got better you know, every game. I'm understanding the rules, understanding the game. And he's going to continue to get better as a player because he works so hard. I thought you wanted a loud team. Say it. You haven't been able to start a training game with one of the PGL since your first year. Do you see parallels at all in terms of the, what you tried to do that first year, pushing, you didn't have a fast start, or pushing those two because they were healthy right at the very jump that you're trying to do this time around too? Yeah, same thing, same kind of feel. Um, they're both very energetic. They're, very, they're, they're both very happy to be healthy and, like I said, starting training camp together. And, like, you know, we're a different team. Those two guys are on the floor. We're a totally different team. And so they're excited. They're excited for the challenge. Like I said, I'm just happy, like I said, to start a camp with both of our players. You know, really Any idea how much you'll try to play Kawhi and PG on Not yet. Not sure. You guys had the big announcement today at the advisory about what you're doing tomorrow for the school that's here in home. We'll here and talk about that a little bit. Um, no, I'm just excited. You know, I'm going to be part of it. We're leaving a 340 bus, be there from 4 to 5. And so I'm excited. And also, like I said, Will Hardy put his group, his group together. And so it's something we've been trying to do as a, as a joint effort. So I'm excited to be doing Getting back to spacing, uh, like we, we usually think of spacing as guys spotting up and in a particular position when you're playing, like a two-man game or something like that. Like, what ways do you want to, you know, continue to emphasize that, but in what ways do you want to be different as well? 
Well, the biggest thing was just in transition, our guys running deep corners, like not stopping short, getting to the deep corner so now the ball handler has a chance to attack and get to the basket whenever he wants. Our, our big run to the weak side dunker, giving that spacing so it should be, you know, four out, one in, but it should be a lot of space for our guys to be able to attack. That's one thing. I think our pick and roll spacing has got to be better, you know, so we're doing a better job of just cutting this slot guy to open it up for our scores to really get to those spots and get into the paint. And then, um, well, what's your second question? I want to know, like, you had guys like me, Eric, you know, those guys either, they probably have two different kinds of space. You really use Luke a lot off ball, your ex is that kind of thing. Are you trying to develop a, a, another kind of a shooter to fill those type of roles, or, or what ways can you replace that this season with the guys? I think doing a lot more cutting. You know, I think more cutting off the ball. I think leading cuts. I think when guys are penetrating, driving the basketball, and just cutting behind guys. And so we are implementing a lot of cutting this year. So I hope it's good for us. That your first year during the year. I remember right, you challenged my to get better playmakers to yeah. add that part of your game. Is there anything like that this year where, again, with both of them ready to go right away, you're asking them to do anything differently? Point of emphasis? Yeah, I think one, you know, just taking care of the basketball. I think, um, you know, um, turning over 14 times a game, you know, we got to be better with that, taking care of the ball. Because, you know, when we win the, we the possession game, um, with the YMPG playing with 12 and 3, you know, so just winning the possession game, taking care of the basketball, rebounding the basketball. I'm a different team, but also, you know, with those guys, making the other guys better. You know, I think, you know, my first year, um, we were number two in the league and teams blitzed us, and then last year we were 25th, you know, so we got to get back to being good at that. Teams are going to blitz us, we got to get a few teams apart and make them pay, so we got to get good at that. Are you looking at points per possession on that, or what do you like in the range? Points per possession, yeah. When you say you want to play faster, what's the are you looking for? Um, advanced passes, getting the ball to the floor, guys running to their spots, filling lanes, and then pushing the ball off the dribble. You know, I think we were 20, 19 to 20th in advanced passes, but we were second in efficiency. You know, so when we did advance the ball, we got great shots and we scored the ball. So we just got to make sure we put that in our minds, just getting the ball up early, attacking early, and then if we don't have it, getting to our secondary offense. Is that something you're easily able to replicate in practice at all? Yeah, we're doing it every day. So hopefully, <laughs> hopefully, we're going to be able to pick it up. The guard rotation last season was tough defensively. Now with Russ and Terrence, how much do you think that's going to help a guy like you with both those guys having the ability to fight over screens maybe a little bit better than some of the guys you started with last season? No, it's going to be great. You know, I think that's going to be our part of it. It's going to be our part of it. We've got to be a top, top, a top five defensive team. You know, so we want to win a championship and we want to play deep into the playoffs. we got a lot to be in defensively. And so we down the basketball, our pick and roll defense, our point of attack defense, and our one-on-one -on -one defense has to be better. Thanks, Thanks, Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.